Yes. Also tonight, the federally led fight to break up area gangs has led to the arrest of nearly three dozen gang members in eastern Wisconsin, more than, than half a dozen here in our area, including Green Bay and Sheboygan. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramis has more on what we learned today about the effort. Those involved in a multi agency two week crackdown on gang violence say their message is still solid. If you are wanted for violent crimes, the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force will find you. These are photos from the special operation where the task force and other federal, state, and local law enforcement officers targeted known gang members who are also fugitives. A lot of cases there are weapons offenses where they've been carrying concealed weapons. They may be wanted for robberies, um, recklessly endangering safety. 35 were arrested in the effort that covered the eastern third of Wisconsin, including Milwaukee, Kenosha, Racine, Sheboygan, and Green Bay. We had several here in Green Bay, um, actually got none in Appleton. And, you know, we, we did look for some, but we didn't get any down there. So the Marshal Service is asking for your help to identify these men, suspected gang members they're still searching for in northeast Wisconsin. Individuals have a ready support network. They have other homes of other gang members that, that can help them out, that will put them up for a day or two. Green Bay police had at least six officers working the operation last Wednesday, but the department says it focuses on gangs all the time. It's one of a handful of agencies in the state to have a special gang task force. We're not going to put up with it. Uh, we're going to take an aggressive uh, approach to those out there victimizing others. They're also trying to get involved with at-risk youth before the gangs do. It's an ongoing effort, but one Green Bay police and the U.S. Marshals say they're committed to as they continue to pull suspected gang members off the streets. Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News. Want to let you know that online you can take a closer look at the photos of the seven known gang members with connections to Northeast Wisconsin. That's through the Newslink section on our homepage.